Right, we got our hands on that audit, which was done several months ago, but just now the school district is launching a criminal investigation into the missing fuel, half a million dollars worth, and they say they're going to install cameras at these eight fuel depots where buses and others fill them up. An audit of the district's fuel use showed big problems at the pumps, unexplained fill-ups during weekend and evening hours, 234,100 gallons of fuel dispensed during off hours, weekends and holidays in July 2013 through February 2016 for a total of $513,567. That's enough gas to fill up more than 11,000 cars or 26 tanker trucks. The audit says some of the fueling may be legit. Weekend and evening bus drivers filling up or school police officers. But that doesn't explain all of the missing gas. Auditors say the only persons who have the keys to access the fuel pumps during off hours are the site supervisors and school police. And the school police are now the ones investigating. The audit concludes some of the problems are a problem with fuel dispensing system, unrestricted access to fuel dispensing software, system controls not activated, and fuel can card dispensing not controlled or monitored. And the school district superintendent was not available for an interview today, but he gave us a statement where he says that they want to be good stewards of taxpayer dollars. So this audit, as well as their own internal review, is giving them an opportunity to make some good changes in the procedure. And first off, they're going to be installing those security cameras to see who is pumping the gas. Live in Riviera Beach, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.